Hey guys, today um, did my heavy leg day. I had a different approach to training today. I wanted to train more explosive. I've been looking into how to like improve your squat, and how to really get your numbers up. And I watched a Zach uh, Tealander video and he explained like eating more, which obviously that's obviously a way, but I don't want to get too heavy. Um, positioning being more upright and I think I'm already pretty upright in my squat so I could always improve but um, I think I already had that and then a thing that I saw that he said was uh, speed speed out of the hole so you'll see actually right here in the video I'm just warming up my glutes outer glutes these are just regular glutes the, the one exercise I did previous I was my outer glutes with a little like they're called frog pumps I don't know if you guys know Brett Contreras but they really get your glutes going but as for the speed, Zach was talking about um, having good um, posture and control with the weight while moving quickly. And I, I just thought about like explosive power and um, how I used to do that for track and how I had big legs. And I'm, I'm really thinking this may be like the key to getting 405 is just working like explosive strength. You'll see here at the top, the weights kind of bounce a little. Um, Today I did I did 325, so pretty heavy weight, um, and it honestly felt lighter, like the faster I went. And I know it's it's a lot easier, and like that could be an argument is like oh it's a lot easier to get the weight up because you're not slowing down. You'll see I kind of drop in, hit my bottom position, and shoot right back up. So this is my first set. I mean like knee position and everything. Like it looked like the weight was moving extremely fast. Looks like it's not even heavy for me, but it, it's oh, there's always like that misconception, and I see it with a lot of people. Like I've seen someone deadlift, and it's like 500 pounds, and they're like, they move it very quickly, or they it, it, what looks like very quickly, and then I ask them like, that looks so easy, and they're like, that look that like they felt extremely difficult. Set two. Still looking good. Fatigue started setting in here. I was like, wow. Um, definitely not going to get five by five. I just said it to myself. And then I thought like, um, I'm being a baby. But I already felt the doubt. There's no point in going for it. So I settled on three sets. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try to get three. Uh, but other than that, the form's looking good. My glutes were activated. Out of the hole, knees kind of caving in. But I just push them out. And that seems to work. This one I failed, so, okay, I don't want to blame it on me looking at the guy in front of me, but, like, I just lose focus, and, like, I know other people have commented in the past, like, oh, why do they put the squat racks right next to each other like that? I don't know, but this next rep I fail. This is, I, when I redid it, I backed it out the um, backwards because I didn't want to, like, lose focus mid-set, so knees caved in, didn't get it, dropped it, all good. This one, I did it backwards. I just did my last two reps for my 5x5. Five five. These ones moved pretty good. I also lowered the weight to 315. But, yeah. So now these for my set 4 and 5, I did controlled weights. So um, I guess to make up, not to make up, but just to ex like add as an accessory to like the speed I was doing, I did um, slow and controlled. So all the way down, super slow with 225. I wanted to do it for 5 reps as well. But I got to like, you can even see it in my face. I got to like three or four and I was like, Jesus Christ, my quads and glutes are on fire. So I think I got to four here for the, for the four set. And then the last rep, I just shot down, shot right back up. Um, yeah, I think it's this one. I was like, there's no way, no way. So I just got the rep. Knees looked really good there too. Uh, this last one, I think I got like two reps slowed, slowed down, and then um, I just did, I think I just did like three reps like quick. I just wanted to get them out, didn't want to cheat myself, so I just got the reps. But even here, I'm like slowly just kind of falling down into it. But the form's looking pretty good from this angle as well. You could see my torso stays pretty upright. Um, and oh, okay, there I almost fell, and that's where I'm like, okay, you know what? Uh, not going slow anymore. So you could see I almost like lost balance, leaning too much of my heels, and this is where I just said, screw it, just gonna rip it out, so.
Repped it out. Okay, now, since I was doing explosive stuff, so I was like, you know what? I may try so please say. So, oh, so the front squat position right here. Full hand front squat position. Oh my God, I feel way more upright and way better. If you guys ever do front squats, do not do that finger stuff. Try to get that thing into your entire hand. So this 185 moved hella fast. So I was like, okay, you know what? Time for 225. I actually hurt my, I didn't really hurt my wrist. Not there. This one, I slowed down. I, 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 I like almost, I think I almost broke my wrist. Luckily I didn't. Look at my right elbow. My, my elbow hit my knee and then the bar fell down behind my hand. So it like bent my wrist back. I'm fine. So luckily didn't injure myself. Uh, my glutes were already on fire. These absolutely killed my glutes. And I'm feeling every time I do these, every single time I do these, now I feel so much glute and hamstring. You can even see my hamstrings. I just, I don't know what clicked for me. Like getting out of that chair, I swear to God, guys. Getting out of my chair but not pushing through my toes. Getting out of my chair and actually activating my glutes. I just, it just clicked for me. And now I just feel my glutes all the time. So I'm really excited to see how big my hamstrings and glutes can get for like my overall leg development to really get that full leg like pop, if you guys know what I'm saying. But did four sets of these. These things killed me. I like, like at the end, I had to like sit down and stuff. But even now I'm pretty fatigued from just the squats. And that's what that, that's what heavy squats do to you is just, you gotta just get used to like, I'm not really even used to it. Just used to like <clears throat> that like work capacity, the high, high, not high rep, just high weight and just hell. That's basically what it is. This is set three, more stretching. But even at the bottom, I could feel like the push off. It's amazing. I just, I've never felt it before, but <clears throat> get to the bottom push off and squeeze my glutes so i'm really excited to see like what this translates for deadlifts for squats even i may do good mornings too so i haven't done good mornings because i always felt it in my back and it's i almost guarantee you no it is it's because i was doing them wrong but i may start doing good mornings right after um a couple like romanian deadlifts just to get them primed and see how those go because I'm really excited to see how much I can get my glute development and hamstrings up because like in the past like they don't look like they're lacking but I just feel like they are um after this I did mobility so I just did some uh hamstring stretches I do want to get a pancake so I'm probably going to start doing that it like intertwine that some days so I'll do it like a good morning type pancake if you guys don't know what that is um, one of these days I will show you, um, you like sit on the ground, you have a bar on the back and then you try to like t put your chest on the ground. It looks really scary, but if you do it, um, correctly and you kind of warm up, it it's not bad and you will feel a stretch like never before. So this is my last set. Literally died here. Felt my glutes so much, but yeah, these are the last things did splits and then right after the splits i had a club meeting at my school the pen barbell club um it's like a little community where they, people lift and then you just get together and either bench squat deadlift talk um the president had supplements today she's sponsored so she just brought that for us I did three sets of these as I did calf raises. I didn't record the calf raises. It's not entertaining. I do them with like barely any weight. I'd use, there's like a, um, two sides to put weight on. I put tens on each side and I just do them super slow and squeeze at the top. A lot of people um, use really heavy weights for calves. You should, I don't think you need to do that. Endurance is the way to go for sure and activation like really squeezing to the top to where you feel like you're about to cramp but yeah this was this workout um tomorrow i think i may do some just bar i'm just gonna use the bar cleans bar cleans and maybe a snatch just to work through the form maybe some front squats and just to work on some accessories for lagging body parts like chest maybe arms just to get those up but yeah uh, that, that was this workout. I'm pretty tired now. I'm going to go do homework, and I hope you guys have a great day.